Hey guys, uh, Chris from Nichols Retirement Empire. We're doing our weekly garden update. Um, had some issues this week. I'm going to have to ask you guys some advice on. Uh, and I've taken some advice from some of you YouTube people that I'm subscribed to. So uh, let's look see what we got. One thing that we have done is uh, we went in and we started uh, trimming up our herbs. I wanted to pay a little bit more attention to this. So I went in, I watched some of you guys' channels. Um, my basil, I had clipped, and you can see the little things are growing back. They look really good. Um, and you can see some of the older growth here. This actually fell off the porch at one point, all the way down to the ground, and it has survived and done well. My cilantro, um, that is the one that was doing so bad last week, I mistakenly called it parsley. So I'm, I just went and I just bought some new cilantro. I'm gonna trim, um, start trimming this up to make sure that it's not getting too long. That was the mistake that I made, that I learned. And actually this is some of the soil that came from my other cilantro and I'm thinking it is going to seed. Uh, so I'm gonna watch this and see if that's what happens. I thought I saw a few things growing in there, uh, but they may have been mushrooms. My parsley, um, we've started going through and trimming that up. You can see some new growth down there. It's starting to occur. And then my sage, I cut it back. I'm already starting to get the new growth there. And my jalapenos have just really, <laughs> they've just really shown out now. I mean, we, and we don't even eat that many jalapenos, so we're gonna have to freeze some of these. Um, and we're trying to dry uh, and freeze some of our herbs so we've been working on that and getting some information about that and uh, it's been good information um, my tomatoes are still just kind of you know they're bearing they're doing well I fertilized them today uh, I've been uh, topping them off I did that this week and they're staying pretty healthy this part of the porch that I have moved them to um, that has been a good move um, this seems to be about the right amount of shade and the right amount of sun for them on my porch. That's the cool thing about these bags is if you need to move stuff around, you know, you can move it around. I really like that about these bags. Okay, here is where I have some issues that have arisen. Um, not with my peppers. Look at that big bell pepper in there. I hope you guys can see that. I'm gonna let that grow a little bit more. But, I began getting, and it started over here with my cantaloupe. I started getting some of this mildewy kind of stuff on these leaves. So, I went through, I started picking off the leaves, putting them on my burn pile or throwing them out here in the yard. And I picked off a lot of leaves off of this. And I have not picked off every single one that has any little mark on it uh, because I'm afraid that if I pick off every leaf I have, um, that my cantaloupe's not gonna produce. And it's already doesn't have any, you know, it's had a lot of flowers on it. Should get out of the, should get out of the, the sun there, but it already does not have any flowers on it. I mean, it has flowers, but it has not produced any cantaloupes. So I'm concerned about taking every single leaf off of the thing. Um, I don't know, I don't know if that, I mean, I guess it'll keep growing. Um, my okra has started to bear and I was able to get four or five um, okra off there yesterday, or okri. Some of you call it okri, it's what they call it when I was a kid, my grandparents and everything, okri. Uh, but my okri is doing very well. Um, now I'm getting some stuff on my leaves eating up my leaves I think I know what that is I believe it is a Japanese beetle I did see a couple of Japanese beetles um, here yesterday I'm not really concerned with them doing that much damage to my okra um, but I know I have that going on um, and uh, my squash now here's where I had to really come in I had to go in there, I had to get out a bunch of these leaves. Um, the squash has not been 
bearing like I thought it would as big and healthy as the plants were so I just went in there and I picked off all these leaves now if it kills that plant then it'll just have to kill that plant and I'm it's the same thing I don't want to just go in and pick off every leaf I got um, I don't know what kind of damage that's going to do or if it will continue to bear so uh, I have followed the advice of a couple of people I started spraying baking soda and uh, mixing a, a tiny bit of dishwashing liquid in there with it and spraying that I think that might help I think the dishwashing liquid may possibly help with the Japanese beetles and the baking soda with you know this leaf mildew whatever it is that I have going on here so I've started doing that I've tried to get all of the uh, old leaves and stuff out that are down here on the bottom you know and every time I come out here I'll find you know another two or three and I'll pick them off you know that kind of deal so that's kind of what I got going on that's my major story this week I was wanted to